Alright everyone and welcome back to That Variety Nerd. I'm Christina and today we are diving into some more renovations. So this week with our two renovation videos we are focusing in on Oasis Springs. So we are just diving right into it. These are mostly going to be base game renovations. I think the only other pack I used was probably Laundry Day. But like honestly that was mostly just to include maybe a rug or two and like maybe a decorative item or two and that was about it. And of course laundry stuff. This lot was really interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I try to I always try to keep the basic shape of the house so that way it doesn't lose a lot of its original character and that way it sort of blends in a little bit more. But this little neighborhood that I've been working on, it pretty much has been more modernized, I would say. So like the neighborhood it looks more modern because the other houses in the other areas of Oasis Springs, they look more modern. So it's like more modern deserts and stuff like that. I know the bigger houses are more Spanishy. But at the same time, it's sort of like, okay, these smaller neighborhoods, they probably have more modern houses. So I sort of went with that more like modern, contemporary, sort of clean aesthetic with these next tier renovations. And I gotta say, I really like how they turned out. Um, I think each of my renovations, just honestly, they get better every time. And I think that's sort of how it's supposed to work. So I love this gray exterior that we end up with and grays and whites and all that. And we just basic, we just make it pretty simple. Um, all the renovations that I've worked on so far up on the gallery, including ones that speed renovations are not up yet, such as the one for Saturday. So anytime I renovate a lot, whether it's off screen, on screen, I always upload it to the gallery because to me it's like nice to see the hard work paying off. And just like, I just remember like before I started building, I was like, okay, like what, what could I use? More options, right? Right. And so especially if you're like struggling with like, you know, the wallet and all that, uh, myself included, um, it's just important to like make some budget friendly like builds for those that might just have the base game or might only have a couple of packs. Because sometimes when I watch other renovations, I'm sort of like, okay, like why are there 200 packs here? And yeah, so I try to keep these as very simple as I can. Um, and just try to fit the overall aesthetic for what we're going with. So again, I wanted to make a lot of bright windows, have some more traditional pieces, like these big sort of like more traditional sort of walls. I don't know how else to really describe it, but we're going with that anyway. So it looks modern on the outside and on the inside, but it's still pretty cozy. And I think that's what matters. So this ends up being, uh, we converted this from a one bedroom house to a two bedroom, although the other bedrooms very small um but i sort of envision like a small family just trying to get settled in you know get going in their career so they have a toddler like i don't have a specific household in mind of course when i buy when i build these things but i like have a rough idea as to like oh okay this would be good for like roommates or like maybe some siblings could live in this but in this case i wanted to have like a family like just you know, a couple or like maybe a single parent with like a toddler or a child because children and toddlers do not need a whole lot of space in The Sims. Like I hate to say it, but to me, this was just very chill. Um, also, you might be wondering, why, are you, why don't you have face cam on? Well, that's because my computer is running very, very slow and I was up late recording my reaction video to the patch and updates and all that. Please go check out that video. Like I hope it starts a meaningful conversation just about accessibility video games and just branding like that's sort of part of my bread and butter as to like what I study a little bit too so for me like that video was just it, it it meant a lot for me to do that and I hope I made some reasonable points like the new patch it has some good stuff in there but it just needs to the game itself just needs to be accessible in its mechanics and that was basically the point that I was getting across and the marketing too because it's sort of like if you want to say like oh yeah anybody can pick up and play this game not necessarily and just little things to improve the game to make it better because we know it can be better so that being said as always uh, make sure that you have your move objects on for any of these renovations uh, I try to like not do move objects on as much but also like that's sort of where my bread and butter is uh, I do my best to play test everything. Sometimes I miss things. So if you're like, hey, this isn't working, like please yell at me in the comments on the gallery or just anywhere um, if it works or not, especially if it does not work. So then that way I can go in and fix it and re-upload it and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much my sort of thing. Also, I'm still very tired. 
<laughs> I'm still very tired because I was up super late. Like, as you saw, the video uploaded at like 2 in the morning. Like, I didn't fall asleep until like 5. I woke up at noon. I'm like, oh god, this is a mess. And like, I got a, and we got a freaking heat, we have an excessive heat warning for our area here in central Kentucky, as I'm sure a lot of you are going to be under as well if you're more on the east coast, whether that's northeast, southeast, midwest. And yeah, my mom's also coming into town on Sunday afternoon as well, and I kind of want to make sure that like I can maybe get to the store or something at some point this week. Um, and I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch, um, if not while right at the time of this is uploaded or whatever. But again, I stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays at least for this month. But um, either way, uh, I really enjoy this build. I like the, doing the green and the white and just using some different um, backsplashes. I try to always do something a little bit different. And in this case, I wanted to keep it light and bright and clean because my work on these smaller starter homes, which I mean, to be fair, it's not really a starter home if it's above 20K. But I mean, with this new update, sometimes the households start at 30K. So, and, and I kind of go through that a little bit on my uh, patch update and reactions video. So basically, and there's a new create a story mode where you go into cast or create a sim and it can predetermine your career, which skills you're gonna be better at than others, and also how many starting funds that you end up with. So if you just have a single sim, you start with 30K if you get the high amount. And so I kept that in mind when I was working on these like starter houses, because like, yeah, these are more like 30, 35,000 simoleons, but you can always move into these just in general with your other sims, and it matches the rest of the neighborhood because in the sense of like, if you look at the other little smaller neighborhood, you'll sort of see that I, uh, you'll sort of see that just more modern aesthetic that's going on. So I guess Oasis Springs, it's gonna be desert and modern for my save file. And also you can also check out my save file progress in the link down in the description. So any sort of renovation videos, probably from here on out, I'll include the link or if I remember to. So that way you can sort of follow along. Uh, I also stream a couple renovations at a time on Twitch, usually the longer ones, um, but for longer videos, those are also good for me because I can split them up into two parts and I can just take my time. But yeah, uh, again, I wanted to create like a very gender neutral space for the child because again, I don't know what the households are going to look like because I'm mostly focusing on the bills because I am trash and cast. And so I wanted to, and plus I upload these to the gallery. And so I'm like, okay, like what colors are more gender neutral? And so green and orange are usually the two that usually come to mind first, sometimes yellow as well. But I felt like this green color kind of fitted as well because everything else is green in the rest of the house. And then the bedroom, I do sort of a black and white theme as well. And yeah, so again, please put on move objects. Otherwise, your curtains are not going to look too great, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, as you can see, the bedroom's pretty just sparse and just very chill. And that was sort of the aesthetic I was going for in this entire house. So again, I really hope you like this. And um, for right now, this month, I'm doing renovations pretty much through... Um, the rest of the month, uh, twice a week, so get excited about that. I also tend to stream some renovations and flips on uh, Twitch. I also record and upload and pre I pretty much treat like my house flipper series as like a TV taping almost, where it's like everything gets pre-recorded ahead of time because it makes my life a lot easier. So sometimes I'm on there and sometimes I'll go on there for a little bit. Other times I go on there for a little bit and I also switch over to like The Sims or something like that, just to sort of switch up everything a little bit. So uh, I think we're about to dive into the screenshots in just a few seconds here, but in general, I just really love how this exterior turned out and I really hope that you like this little lot. Uh, so yeah, get excited about that. All right, and so here we are at these screenshots. I just really love how this little place turned out. Again, it's no more than I think 30, 35,000 simoleons, so not like a starter starter home but like not a huge house i just really love how the greens turned out and i just want to do something a little bit different so yeah thank you all so much for watching uh please like subscribe comment all that fun stuff and i will see you all later bye everyone